What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Before we get into things, you know what to do. Like the video. So the Bengals played the Rams this year in the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, I didn't watch the Super Bowl last year. I kind of fell out of love with the NFL for a little bit. I'm back in love with it now. What? But I don't know. The ads this year were just kind of trash. Like a little mid, I guess. I just learned that word. I mean, it's the Super Bowl, so obviously there was some good stuff, but it just felt like really like boring. Like nothing was overtly like bad per se, but nothing was good. I would also venture to say. There may have been like a few ads where I was like, yeah, I liked them, but there was like no ads here where I was like, yeah, that was such a funny, like great ad. I loved that. Not really. Maybe it's because like over the past year, you know, on YouTube, for instance, like ads have been pushed a lot more heavily. You know, you have two ads before videos and and maybe I'm just sick of ads, but I don't think that's the case. I, I generally look forward to, you know, the ads every year. This year, crypto was pushed at us. I mean, there was a, a literal ad of a black screen and a QR code bouncing around. And, and guess what? They it's, it's they want you to buy crypto. I was like expecting something else, you know, like maybe something they can't show on TV. That was like a little bit crazy, but nope, just to their website. So you can buy crypto or how about Facebook? in the metaverse dude yeah 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 the the freaking animatronic dog who his sad life story was played out in front of us all for everything to be better when he put on his vr goggles and hopped into the metaverse realizing oh my gosh the fake world is so much better like wow that was great yeah even the one with larry david who was like rejecting every good idea in front of him it was like yeah that was a good ad oh but it was for crypto Ugh, why why i don't care it's crypto i guess some people think crypto is the way of the future everything is good with crypto uh but no i you know, I didn't need to see 20 crypto ads. I did like when uh, Gerard Mayo, uh, he tackled Pete Davidson. That was awesome. I loved watching him, him do that. That was great. I just sit here and I don't like think, oh man, everything sucked. But I definitely don't sit here and think, man, this was just great. Every ad here was great. Just nothing. I don't know. It was so bleh. And as a Star Wars fan, I didn't even get the Kenobi trailer. For, for the new show. What? What a missed opportunity for Disney, dude. We did get the new Doctor Strange trailer, though, so that was kind of cool. I'm not a big Marvel guy, per se, but I like Doctor Strange, so that was cool. But you don't go to school the next day as a fourth grader and be like, did you guys see the new Doctor Strange trailer? No, you you want to, like, talk about, like, the freaking, like, what was it, like, dancing, like, monkey thing from, like, way back with, like, the sprite or whatever it was? That, that trailer hit. That was a good trailer that I remember talking about in fourth grade. I didn't particularly mind, you know, the one with Jim Carrey where he goes to, like, knock on the door and he's, like, the maintenance guy or whatever and, you know, he's, uh, not keeping up with the new ways, but it, it kind of felt like a miss. It was like, eh. It was okay, it was funny when he like went to the other door at the end and knocked on it again, but it was just kind of like, okay, yeah, old people don't understand that you don't need wires, like, all right. I'm getting really sick of like the smart home ads. It's like, look at all this stuff. Your house is basically an entire robot and literally talks to you. I don't care, personally. I, I don't spend as much time in my kitchen as you might think I do. I actually spent a lot of my time in my room looking at a computer. And you know what? I'm not the I'm not the only one who does that. I didn't particularly mind like the Guy Fieri uh, multiverse. That was a little interesting seeing all the different <laughs> versions of Guy Fieri. But the start of the ad sucked. It, it was an example of poor directing for an ad where you're like, what the hell? Where, like, this sucks. What ad? What am I? Why do they look like that? And you're like, oh, like 15 seconds in, you realize it's Guy Fieri. And at that point, your mind is, I had already predetermined this is a boring commercial. But I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that, like, oh man, the Super Bowl ads were trash. No, they weren't. They just, like, weren't, like, very good. They were just, like, they were all okay, you know? There was nothing where you're like, oh, that's a little controversial because we live in this, like, new era where you can't make <laughs> any jokes. Nothing funny. All the corporate, you know, people are like, oh, the world is so sensitive right now. We can't, we can't hurt our brand image. And it's like, uh, like, I feel like more people would appreciate you being a little bit more edgy, but I can't even call, like, what I would think of as funny as, like, edgy. I, I can't, really say that anything would be too edgy like I, I don't know really what's going on there and then i'm gonna upset a lot of people here but i didn't think the halftime performance was like that amazing i mean it was good but like you got a bunch of like old dudes to like do stuff i thought the old compton theme was kind of cool i didn't think the theatrics were that amazing kendrick lamar was was the best part of that that was a pretty cool performance i like the camera stuff they did and then the ending to the game was 
kind of boring too is anticlimactic you're like oh i i guess the rams won and then the announcers are like yep that's it that's the end of the game what i don't know i was just relatively unimpressed with the super bowl this year it was a close game at least i guess um but i don't know super bowl this year kind of mid so yeah hopefully next year next year's super bowl we'll get some some crazy stuff going on i don't really know what i want from an ad but i just uh want something that like makes me laugh that could totally miss i don't know just take a risk brands but uh well it's a brand and they're never gonna do that that's all i have for you guys thanks for watching yet another youtube video goodbye